morning everybody. Hi, Auntie Judy here. How you doing all my cute pies so early this morning? The reason why I'm up here so early this morning is because I just got finished watching the news and I'm having some difficulties understanding, okay? Here I am. I'm a mama of two. I have two boys. One's 30 and one's 28. This is what I don't understand. They've got now, they have a device on the new cars that's coming out to remind you that you have your child in the back seat. And the reason why is because I call them these cuckoo people. And the reason why I call them these daggone cuckoo people is because, come on, people. You have your babies in the car seat. You have to sit there and buckle their asses up in there before you even take off. How in the hell can anybody sit up there and justify to me that they sit up there and left their child in the back seat to the point to where they died? Uh-uh. That's unexcusable to me. I have had, I raised my children, my two boys, to be adults. I never left my children. I never left them in a supermarket. I never left them in, you know, home alone. No. To me, that's a cop out. I don't understand. How in the hell can you sit there and tell me that these people forgot their kids? I don't understand it. <clears throat> we have already, I live in Houston, Texas. We've already had two babies die in a car. Okay? Because their parent forgot and left them in a hot ass car. We're having temperatures that it's like 97 degrees outside. But the heat intensity is 105. It's going to feel like 105 degrees when you go outside. So you driving around with your baby in the car that you put in there not maybe five, ten minutes ago, twenty minutes ago. How in the hell can you forget a baby, a human being that belongs to you within that short period of time? If that's the case, I'm so sorry, baby. You don't deserve to have any children. You don't even deserve to have a daggone animal. You better not have a dog up in there. Mm -mm. Because you know what? If you can't take care of your little two-legged friend, you can't even take care of your four-legged friend. That's how I look at it. But my whole point is, it got to the point to where they're sticking little devices in the car to remind you, as a parent, that you have a child in the back seat of the car. So you don't lock your child up in the damn back seat and just go on and do your damn business. And do you realize how long it takes for a child or a four-legged friend to die in a car with all the windows up and 105 degrees? Rocket scientists, people? Is that what we need now? I mean, this has gone way too far. It's bad enough that I've heard in the past that people sit up there, take the kids outside, put the kids behind the damn car to put it and then run into the house to get something. Forget that short period of time. Come on. Rocket scientists again. That they left their child in the back on the damn concrete driveway and backed up and rolled over them. What the hell, people? Do y'all think y'all really need to be reproducing? Seriously. To me, it's all a cop-out. It really is. There's no way in hell for you to be a parent to forget your kid in that short period of time. I don't care if you have six damn kids. Home Alone is a damn movie. It's not reality. You don't forget your kids. This is got, I mean, it really ruffles my tail feathers about how people use things as a damn cop-out. 
You know, you left your child outside on the day of cement and you backed over it. Guess what, buddy? You go to fucking jail for murder. That's the way I feel. You killed your kid. That's it. If you sit up there and leave your child in the damn car, now this is a true story I heard a couple years ago. This dang old girl, she wanted to go out and party one night. Okay. So what she did, she didn't have a damn babysitter. So she locked her car. So she sit up there and she locked her damn baby up in the damn car at night because the baby was asleep. This baby was four years old. She takes off upstairs to a damn hotel room where she's up there drinking, getting crunked, getting all down and dirty and shit. And she comes back out. Her baby's dead. They got the popo up there and everything else. And the popo sat up there, arrested her. Hallelujah. I'm all for that. Yeah, that's what popo's supposed to do. But then she goes to court and boo hoo's and cries. Boo hoo I didn't mean to leave my baby up in yonder. But you know what? She did because she was sober when she did it. She came back, she was already crying. Okay? But my whole, point, my whole point is is that she got time for it. And it's just like this damn other lady that sit up there and said that somebody sat there and stole that her damn car with the big kids in it. Come to find out her kids ended up in the lake in her damn car that she put there. If you don't want your kids, give them up for adoption. There's so many people that want to have children that can't. And I don't care. Yeah, you're a psycho. You're a psycho bitch. You shouldn't have any more kids. They should sterilize you while you're in jail. And when you sit there and leave your kids outside in the daggone heat, and you can't, and you forget that they're in there after you've only been riding around for like 30, 45 minutes with them at the tops, and you forget your kids in there, you should be sterilized too. No, you don't need to have any more. No, 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 no. And if you leave a baby in the back on the ground and run over the newborn baby, yeah, your ass needs to be sterilized. I'm all for that. Hey, Trumpy Dumpy, how about that? Pass that one. I'll be the first one to vote for your ass to go back in there. But that's enough of my rant right there. I got so many shit on my mind right now. I can give I can give y'all a damn lifetime of shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go and leave you on that note. I just had to voice my voice my opinions about that stuff. It's like I said, I raised my kids. I've had hectic days. I worked twelve hour shifts. Came home, went grocery shopping with my damn two boys, and I never left them. I never left them by themselves in a damn car. Cause my biggest, my biggest fear was that they're gonna be sitting up there wrestling around and knock the car out of gear. You know what I'm saying? And cause they hit somebody else and stuff like that, right there. But still, I never, li- I never did it. Y'all don't get no sympathy from me. Because the only one I felt sorry for is that that baby was born to a damn moron like y'all. A dumb, dumb ass bitches. Y'all shouldn't have kids. If you could forget your child in the back seat in that short of time, especially when you put him in the back seat to begin with. Y'all no good for me. So with that note, I will talk to y'all later, babies. Y'all stay sweet down, my cutie pies. Remember, Auntie Judy loves y'all. Bye-bye.